one time today. Did they, on the security system, they give any uh, indication on when their start date was going to be? I called him after meeting last, or on called him on Friday. He said it take about a week to get the, the equipment. Mm -hmm. And then they start. So. Should be next week. Yeah, I do. Okay. So you don't have anything else on the agenda right now? No. Wide wow. open. It really is slow. Well, it's because we worked two days last week. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. Work overtime. <laughs> um, I'd like to uh, have an executive session for non-electric personnel. I say 15, 20 minutes, whatever you want. I'll make a motion to go to executive session for not elected personnel for one minute. Second. Do I want there? Um, I'd just like us three. Okay. Us four? Or us four. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. We have a motion and a second to go into executive session. Mm -hmm. For how long? For 20 minutes for non elected personnel, including uh, Lisa and the three commissioners. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. We're in session. I think so. <clears throat> Not all, that's just all we recognize. Will you look it over again because I'm not printing this again. <laughs> We're wasting paper in my printer ink. No. Is that part of your copier? No. You don't print your copier? I can, but I don't. Oh. Do we need that other guy's phone number on there besides Joe's? This week? He'll be back Friday.
Well, I understand that. <laughs> Sorry, I won't nitpick on you anymore. I'm ashamed of it. That's all right. Some days it's probably well deserved. Oh, no. Sorry. 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 Sorry.
Do you uh, have a Wednesday? Uh, well, it might have been Wednesday, but I don't think. You had the blade to cut off the paper? Yeah. Uh, well, we didn't think that's so far. We did it out of here. Are you saying the bill would do that? We never have. Because we have, I mean, I have a have farmer do it. And I, I don't know. I mean, well, a farmer is different than a small company. Well, I mean, farmers pay typically the land on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drug the unit out of it. So, yeah, I agree. And I'd really consider looking at something like that. Okay. As well. I mean, well, I'll, t I'll talk to them about it. Because it, I mean, it's right. It it's fair. They, we we had to go. To, we did. They did that on Friday because that's when I was. Yeah, because they called me when I was on the time. Um, and I told them to get away because it was still on the Friday. So we said, "Well, they're still on draft, so I don't care if they drug off." And I said, yeah. "At least if, if we don't have this big bill." Well, they did it on Wednesday because that was the day they brought Sam in the fairground. And we did, we did, we brought the sand over there Friday. Was that Friday? Yeah. Okay. Because Brian called me on the way down there. Because yeah, they said they had to wait for the grader because they were all playing off the mud off the Zenith Road. <laughs> yeah, that was Friday, sorry. more money for this high risk rural roads mm -hmm. because of the safety factors in it. Yeah. And that was brought up so well they they have all this money they're not spending why do they need more on that side? So until they have huh. other counties to start trying to spend that money. So they decided K A C and there's no print map up with all the money available with federal funds in it that they can that, oh. can't, that county has. So they didn't know something knew about it or didn't. So, so, I know some guys, some of the road guys were afraid the commissioner would try to do that to, to cut a budget and then use that money for and, and that's all that so it was to supplement a budget for some things that you couldn't do with your budget. You know. it's, it's like overlays and stuff, same yeah. stuff that we do with all our yeah. yeah. pretty big I tried to call Scott yesterday and I did not get home. I don't know if I can get it done before the huge fall harvest. No, and, I, I mean, I, and if I, I didn't know if we wanted to get the last this year or not. Or, but I mean, I didn't know if KDOT wasn't going to do anything if we wanted to pursue that avenue or cost of anything. I mean, I mean, it'd be nice for the state to chip in some, but I mean, I don't know how long this the, the process is going to drag out yeah. before they grow. Well, yeah. Well, it is. Yeah, get that that train moves real slow. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like all the bridge money that made it better. Well, you know, eligible for any of the good way to get into the structures that are bad enough shape to do it. I'd like to do something. I mean, I've had several Kansas Club members approach me and I said, well, we won't get it done for wheat harvest, but yeah. hopefully we'll get it done for fall. I, mean, I don't I don't want to lose half the money. Yeah. And, and it's, it'd probably be something that had to be done, you know, after the spring. Be like it's terrible. Yeah. Because, because you, you know, you're talking about, about first, yeah, oh no, you don't have enough 
the time, but usually they want concrete to cure out 30 days yeah. before they ever do anybody driving around. All right. Well, I'll, if they ask me, I'll tell them it probably won't get done for the poor fall harvest. Yeah, it's not like you know, because we only do half of the time because there's no way to shut it. would take down. three months to do that. Yeah. Be my guess. I would be sure hoping it'd start right out. I don't know how, how you'd even keep the truck traffic off of it from unloading the Unload, unload out. They're, they're just going to have to back. They're just going to have to do the best they can to back out. Yeah. Back out the scale and back off. Far would not be here. No. Well, we went over there one day and put some back up there. I mean, it's rough, but it's not like yeah. holes there. Okay. And the only reason it doesn't reach you to death is because it's really hard to stop. So. I'm not going to set it, make any promise up to it or when it's going to happen now. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then, and like I say, you can't shut the road down because that stretch between here and 61 highway, we have a traffic count close to 500 vehicles. There's quite a few. Fully loaded, and then you know, 
now you got to drop off to the shoulder about that far. Mm -hmm. Had a flagman one lane traffic. That's fine. So when that is our turn to go through, they put the roller right in the middle of the I called Brett behind me and I said, whatever you do. I said, run over that guy, but don't get off on that shoulder. No. I mean, we had about that much uh, room. What was he doing that? I don't know. He just sat there and parked in the middle of the road and smiled at me. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, I, I still, all, you still, even what we do, I mean, there's a safety factor of why you use buffer vehicles and whatnot, but there's still a common sense factor that we all got to do. So, I mean, <laughs> It was all I could do to keep on driving and not get out. And that's most of the time, that's why we close a road, it's for our safety. It's, yeah. not, it's not to inconvenience people. It's, so if you don't get out there and get behind a grader that he can't see. see. Right. And then they think, people think you can and think yeah. you, you know, you're, that's, that's not what you're concentrating on. No. That roller guy, it just, he, shut, he stopped, shut it off, and he was right in the middle. Okay. No wider than that road. And just sit there and kind of preparing that and like, what do you think of that? Wow. Yeah, they're spending a little money there. I mean, they got to lay down the sheet and it just costs them. Yeah. I think they, you know. I hope they build that shoulder up back if they get there. I wish they widened the road out. I did. They didn't lay down the road. didn't used to be that narrow, I didn't think. Every time I go, every time I get the right now, Stephanie County line is a much larger than you. Every time I hit that line and I got somebody in with me, I said, see how much better Stephanie is than Rio County? And the roads are mowed and they're not ever mowed up there. Yeah, we're trying to get in the back there for some of these people. Oh, my God. Wow, talk about something that's thrived. <laughs> They're a little juicy, aren't they? Uh, so we're trying to do all sorts of things right now. We are, we are overlaying right now. We still had some money, so we see how that comes up with the trucks. Because at some point, I would like to take some of the funds money to take some and get hot and just put on it. Next year might be the year to do that because of the, they've tentatively got 281 scope to do that. What were, is that what they were doing yesterday? Yeah, they came out to I don't know what they were doing. They were they coming because, for about an hour? Because they, they started way up north. They started clear up around the county line yesterday morning. Okay. And it did, they, were, they, they weren't there very long in that place before they, they were hopped up. They a trailer that had, had a deal looked like he was sizing for that. He'd stop and put, lay the plate down on the highway. I mean, I, I'm curious up. enough, I may call Barry yeah, and I'll find out what was going on because I nobody really seemed to know. And they weren't locals. I mean, they were yeah. from out of somewhere else. They stopped all the side roads coming in, too, and I pulled mm -hmm. up there to the side road. No pilot car in or I went in. There wasn't nobody there? Yeah. Was there a... I'm sure it was injured. Was there any fatalities last Wednesday at 281? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody's really hurt very bad. No, last Friday? Wednesday. Was it Friday? It was right Wednesday. after. Yeah, Friday was, after our second. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. 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 It was about an hour after I went through there. <laughs> so I've been out to work every day. Well, I have to have one beside the casual. It's the driver's side. It's pretty well. It's getting heated. Huh? It's getting heated. Which was up there or over there? Pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that other one had some issues. Well, the Lower East had some issues too, yes. so. I heard somebody extra just uh, Physical. 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 Yeah. Well, I supervise that physical agent. Yeah. I last thing when Mr. Jimmy said that's why we need to appoint people on the highway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll point what? Treasure. The point of treasure. Oh, oh, and see, there was a big push here a few years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, about that. It's been since Lisa and we have opened. I know that. It was, huh. It's probably Wales Brothers. You may have been. 
Was that when they still hammered and chiseled into stone? No, 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 no. no. Okay. He's the okay. this, this, was, this, was some, this was some of the, all about some of the commissioners wanting to deal with some of the election but, decisions. Yes, yeah, they want control over I'm just curious. Well, I don't think it's that they want control. They should split somebody, some qualifications prior to running for the office. My impression was the one in Reno County had no accounting or no experience whatsoever. She was in the appraiser's office. Was she? Yeah. Um, well, there's so many people, there's so many you know, organizations to, in that pie. It used to be there was that many yeah, other taxing right. organizations got that many. Any more there? Is there 30 or more? You know, I don't. I mean, I don't deal with them. Organizations? You mean like I'm, uh, agencies. agencies? Agencies, like 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 road department, and then you have all these townships, and then you have cemetery districts, and yeah, you have, yeah, entities, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah. 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 So she told some of the people they don't want to get some money. <laughs> I thought, well, Actually, they're only going to get 550, which is what they asked for. Right. So it is. 
but on their on the sheet that's published, and we have to count that as an expense because it, it does come out. But as far as the entity knowing, they're only going to get five hundred fifty thousand. Okay, that reminds me. Once this is approved, do you send out notice what their budget is? I never have, but I guess I could. I always figure they can see it in the paper. Yeah, I had one ask me that from staff. That yeah. Um, I, I, I think but I don't know. If they're not part of the courthouse, maybe we ought to send that out so they know where it is. To the outside entities? Yes. If they're not part of the courthouse. Yeah, I guess we could. That, I, I've actually had two ask me that. Uh, yeah, when they were here. And I said I've just never been asked One of them was the hospital and then there was another one too. But it's, I can kind of see that they have to look for it anyway if they, if they don't know. Okay, do I just send it to the hospital? Do I send it to every board member? They want my yeah. No, just to, just, the, to the, the just to the hospital. To the historical society? Who do I send that to? I don't see any. Just in the hospital. Just in the hospital the only one. Or shoot Todd an email. Yeah, yeah. yeah. shoot Todd an email. I, I'm trying to think who the other one is. Well, the township should know, the cemetery should know, the city oh. should know. The golf course. Oh, <laughs> actually, one of them asked me. Well, they, the they know. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll shoot Todd you description here under the seven seven bullet or actually the six uh, maintains a clean environment in assigned county owned building. Mm -hmm. Can we put that at the courthouse and annex? No, it's just a generic thing. Yeah. And garage. Well, I'm just thinking. Um, Does that mean road and bridge? If you need something. Yeah, hell. <laughs> if you think you have a place to eat, I'm just What do you. We, I just did that okay. as a generic. All right. Common sense. Kind of okay, thing. well, sometimes, you know, we don't have common sense. And we really can't change this one out. yet. This, it, it does say assigned, so whatever we assigned to them. information it'll come out on my tech fund okay. um, it's a really awesome deal I don't know if you, if you guys have seen my big old books or not but um, most of them have not been digit scanned and digitized so that is something we need to do and um, 
eventually get uh, get it all on microfilm, which they can re can convert from a CD to microfilm to store the salt mines on the books we don't have. Anyway, this is a one of the quotes I got. Actually, it's the only one that, that's gotten back to me so far. It's a book eye. It'll it's got to be the bigger one. Um, Thirty twenty four by thirty six. It'll do those old bound books. It'll do the take part books. It'll do a flat page. It has the, these are mechanical to level up the book, so the book will lay level, and it's got a glass to put down over it. It expands in color when you when you got the page jam up there that you're scanning. It, there's a 19-inch monitor that shows you exactly what you're scanning. If you don't like it in color, you can switch to black and white. It's got USB ports on the front. You can immediately save it to a USB drive, or you can hook it up to a PC and save it to the computer. It's a really awesome deal. They have not sold this exact scanner to any registered geeks in Canvas yet. This is kind of new for them. This is a line of blueprint. Um, but what I want to do is start getting all these books scanned. I'm, tar I'm tired of waiting on CIC, basically. Um, and we have free time. We can do this ourselves. So I was just letting you know I'm going to probably purchase probably this one. I'm still waiting on a few other quotes. They're rather expensive, but it's going to come out of my tech plan. That's the quote they gave me. <laughs> yeah, um, but Kingman County has one. They have a Zoichel. It was $85,000. Yeah. I have already talked to Lisa and Nita, and they have both have books and things that they would love to scan eventually too. Well, okay, that they need to scan eventually. What do you got? Um, that's a good question. Probably right here. <laughs> um, probably the dark room, the mail postage room, is where it'll store. I'm gonna. I would buy a cart on wheels. So we could wheel it around from office to what, whoever's using it. Now, when we are using it for our stuff, we'll most likely come in here and use it because we just don't have the space when there's people in there. But like I said, other can, other departments we are more than welcome to use it once I get them trained on it, or we could do it for them in our spare time or something. It'd be, I think it's a very good investment for the county to have. Yeah, I think. Have you know, something like that that we'll be able to move it around. And yes. Share it. Yeah, and it's the it's the it's very compatible with PCs and easy software to use, very user friendly. This is the only company that has gotten back to me with anything, and I've been trying to get quotes for about three months now. Mm -hmm. so I didn't even go to that one that Zeitschrift or whatever. They're out of Germany. They're made in Germany. I'm like, oh, I can't even do that eighty-five thousand. So. I'm not even gonna go there. Now there's a lot cheaper ones that don't have all these features. They're just like a flat board, you know, that you put the book on and you know the you know how the books are. They're raised on one side or you know like that and they wouldn't get a good image. So I just wanted this is for your information to let you know that this is in the works. In the works and that I do think it's a really good investment for the courthouse to have. So um, if you, there's not enough room down there in that room. Something we might look at doing. The postage machine is just on a table. We could actually buy a postage machine table, mm -hmm. and it'll put that scales up so we could scoot all that down. You know, because yeah. how long that is. Yeah, we'll but, figure something out. Okay. Um, well, that's I, always. I've always thought maybe we should have got a tape. A, yeah. Regular table. table. Yeah, and my plat cabinet's down there, and we could shuffle it around okay. too if we had to. So that's probably where it would go. Just we'll figure that out. But I'm a hold, holding, hoping to get one more quote at least. Um, I've talked to a few other counties that have some similar ones, and I'm waiting on one guy. Um, they're all out of state. Like nobody what about is which selling these. This Are is, they in that business? I have I don't know, I haven't I did it, I searched, nobody's I don't know anything about them, so but um 
that so far nobody in the state sells these. So my blueprint got this in just for me because I was interested in it. Um, I will be a pilot county because I, there's several of the registers that are really interested in doing this themselves. Um, a lot of people, you know, just send their books to have them done and they come in other companies scan them and they pay them to do that. And that would be my other option. But I won't let my books go out. And then we just don't have the room for somebody to come in and stand there all day and do that. And it, you know, right now, CIC is just taking care of doing anything. So, and they work with US Energy when they're scanning and of it. But I just think having this ourselves, we can do it in our spare time. We can do other departments. And anyway, I'd be at Pilot County. So they're working on getting me a little bit of a discount because I'd be like a show show model or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to, when I get back with him, I'm going to ask him about a lease um, program to see if they would do anything like that. So, just let you know. That might be a good idea if it's the first one. Yeah. Yeah. It would. I, I'm so, like, I haven't even seen this in person, but it just looks really awesome. It looks like everything you want in a scanner, so book scanner. And he has got moldy census records. In her vault in the basement. That Don't push your buttons today. <laughs> Please. Finally learned. How many years? Two years? I don't know. It's just my registered deeds mode. I think all the books should be protected. Something should be done and saved. Well, so it's just, you know, how many truckloads of books do you guys we have call to the salt mine so far? Phil, you Three or four? One? One to ten tiny books. A little something like that. Of yours? Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, we took out them up all. Well, that was a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Four or five. I mean, yeah, you never have to look at them ever, probably. But if you probably had them scanned, you could. Well, there's, there's been a few times people have come and asked. I said, well, you know. And if you had them scanned, you could pull them up, boom, books. like that. So. And you oh, cannot throw them back out of the ball. No, no. I know. Or you can take the scanner down there and do it. That would be like forever too. I don't know. I just, it, it, I going down the basement. It really would might be something I, I should consider because it'd be a whole lot cheaper to pay storage on microfilm than all those big books. It is. Trust me. How much do I pay compared to what you pay? Yeah. Yeah. So, but oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Then if you ever want one, it's a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. There's a retrieval fee. Retrieval fee. Mm -hmm. For a stinky book. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, I just want I would definitely share this or train, you know, as long as someone was trained to use it in other departments. I know district court needs to do something with their stuff, but I don't know. I'll drop that later. I don't want to do anything. Anywho, that's all I got. Okay. Did you share with them? Well, you shared it on the Facebook page the other day, that um, website. No. Well, it's really interesting. She don't tell us stuff. I don't think there is. It is. It's, was it findagrave.com? I saw that. It's really interesting. You go to your cemetery, pull up a name, and there's a picture of the grave and information on it and everything. And it's a pretty cool deal. We will use it a lot, actually, when we get people doing genealogy. And even sometimes we get oil researchers that need to know if someone has died. <laughs> one way to find out. There's one way to find out. But don't put your name down as you will help. Oh, You'll with that? start getting these requests. Would you run out to so-and-so and so-and-so and, -so and, -so and take a picture of so-and-so and, -so and send oh. it to me? <laughs> Are you on that list? No, I'm not on the list, but I give them someone that's on that list. I don't list. think I would mind doing that, honestly. The cemetery is 30, 40 miles away. It's oh, no. No, I would just. No. 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 Yeah. You could do that. Stafford County, St. John's. Most of their pictures of his. <laughs> I, you, you know what? I've done it more than once for people that have requested stuff like that through genealogy requests. I've traced out there at 100 degrees and taken a picture. Thanks for coming in. A lot later. <laughs> okay then. Yeah.
Bert Reed or anybody else have anything? Nope. We don't adjourn.